Good evening from BBC News, I'm Aaron Hall. And I'm Eddie Ventilation. And today, the pandas at the zoo have finally had their babies. <laughs> this just in, there's a hit and run in the Valley of Ashes where a woman has been killed reporting live as Kaylee Mitsuchi. Here we are at the house of George Wilson where his wife Myrtle has just been hit by a car. And now, with our first eyewitness of what really happened, here's Carmela. So Carmela, what did you see? Well, I was just delivering cookies to the house next door because I'm a Girl Scout. And I'm just trying to earn, you know, my, my cookie selling badge. And uh, I, I turned around when I'm about to go to the, the Wilson's house, this house. And uh, I see, I see Myrtle get hit by a car. I said, ah! And I dropped the cookies. And I go and I see what happened because like, I've never seen anyone get hurt and I don't like when people get hurt. It, it just hurts my soul, me being a little fragile little girl. But it, she's dead and I just, I'm just here to, to find justice, to find justice to whoever's done this. And how long have you known the Wilsons? I haven't known them very long at all. I just came here to sell the cookies. Did they buy cookies from you? No, Mr. George Wilson was in utter distraught. He, he could not find his wallet. Okay, thank you, Carmela. Yeah. And now we're here with Michaelis, who is our second eyewitness. He's the neighbor of the Wilsons and owner of the coffee shop. So, Michaelis, what did you see? I saw Myrtle run out of the house and into the street. Do you know why she was running into the street? I had been at the house earlier today and heard a ruckus upstairs. Were her and George Wilson fighting? Well, George told me that she had been locked up upstairs. Do you know why she ran out in front of the car? It seems as if she knew who was in the car. Did you get a look at who was in the car? No, but I believe there was a man and a woman. Okay, well thank you for that, Michaelis. And now we're going to see if George Wilson will sit down with us and talk to us about this matter. It may be very hard for him, though, because any man who has just gone through this disaster would be very distraught. Now we're here with George Wilson, who can hopefully give us the real story. George, what happened? Well, words can't even describe what I'm feeling right now, so I'll, I'll just show you a video. Today, Cameron's learning how to hula hoop. Come on, Cameron. Nice try, bud. Oh, God. oh, one more time. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'll never learn. Keep going. Come on. Oh, my God. What's that? What's going on? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. What's happening? What's happening? I found out she was having an affair. How did you come about this? Well, I found the dog collar in her drawer. It was an expensive one, too. I could have never afforded it. Do you believe Myrtle and this man have a dog together? I think so. I think it was the man that hit her in the car. Well, thank you for all your insight, George. We've learned a lot today from our three witnesses. We will continue further investigation. Now back to you, Aaron. Wow, how tragic. Tragic, Aaron. Tragic indeed. Well, that's all we have for you here on BBC News. Good night and sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>
Have they been fighting? It seems as if she knew who was in the car. <laughs> and now we're here with George. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me like that. I you don't look at the camera. I can hear you. You're like. <laughs> I can't. I'm sad. My wife just died. Yeah, okay, it's pretty messed up. You don't have any emotion about this. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hell no. Go. And now we're here with George Wilson, who can hopefully give us the true story. <laughs> Aaron! <laughs> okay, go. And now we're here with our second eyewitness, Michaelis, who is a neighbor of the Wilsons and owner of the coffee shop. <laughs> Alex! What? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Here we are at the house of George Wilson, where his wife murdered the whole day. Go. Here we are. Why are you coughing? <laughs> so, Michaelis, why do you think Myrtle was running? It looked like she knew who was in the car. And. <laughs> <laughs> Eight, two, one, go. <laughs> so. Good evening from BBC News. I'm Aaron Hall. And I'm Thomas Mercury. <laughs> this is not the name we said. <laughs> Yeah? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, shout out 